Hi everybody. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. I don't know why, but this table is jiggly today. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm in the RV and I'm trying a new way to position my camera. So give me your feedback and tell me what you think, okay? Um, if we get too much motion, I may try to go ahead and push this table back some. That might be the problem. Today, I got the urge. I didn't want to get all my stuff out, but I thought, I've been collecting these for a while, and I thought, oh, let's do something with them. And, oh, yeah, I want to use this. This is the pack of paper that I got from Joann's a week or so ago. Um, it was 20 bucks on sale for half off. And because it was torn, um, I got it down to five bucks. Go me, yay. So I'm sure I'm gonna get sick of that paper. So, cause it's big. So I'm thinking I wanna play with these. I want to play. I was thinking about making a book, a little booklet. This is really shaking, huh? I'm going to slide it over. Hold on to your hats, guys. I don't know why, but sometimes it makes a difference. And I hope the hum doesn't bother you. We actually have 85 degrees here. Yeah, 85 degrees, so I'm loving it, but I got the air on, so. Okay, let's start with some glue, because I don't have a sewing machine, so we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way. We're getting down to crafting basics. Oh. I'm really not suffering that much. I mean, I have a lot of stuff. I should show you what I'm doing. I'm doing a slow stitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere, hold on. I'm gonna get it for you. I started a slow stitch project. I'm not even close to done yet, but it's gonna be, this is gonna be the cover. And let's see, it's gonna go like this. And I've got a couple hearts cut out and um, some beads and lace and stuff. So this has been fun, fun, fun. All right. Back to what we were doing. Let's see. This is what I, I have plenty of these, so if I screw it up, no big deal. What I thought I'd do is hmm, get my glue running first. The baby book's all done. I'm kind of sad. That was a really fun project. If you guys want to, if you feel like you're, you know, kind of in a rut, boy, a baby book will get you out of it because it's completely different. Everything. Ephemera and everything. My husband and his friends are on a motorcycle ride so I should have some uninterrupted in a bleh, uninterrupted time I don't know I haven't practiced this so this is you're seeing the first time trials of what I have in my brain No, 
if I have my, I think I do have my, uh, my scoring. Oh, who knows where it's at. We'll, we'll do without for now. Until I trip across it, but that's what that needs. the paper on there that's really tacky I mean toilet paper rolls are inherently kind of tacky right I don't care when you're in the RV you know things get really rustic <laughs> We move into our house on October 30th. Um, and I have moved into that house uh, 50 times in the middle of the night, early morning, you name it. I've, I've moved into it. There are some stairs to be dealt with, so trying really hard to figure out how things are going to go and where things are going to go because after the guys move us in, I don't want to have to do it again. I don't want to move anything again. I'm over it. And I don't, I'm trying to decide if I want to change my desk. I have a desk that I just love because it has drawers on one side and then it's an L shape, so I can have my sewing machine right at my, you know, my left elbow, and I can just swivel in my chair and sew and swivel back. And I've got drawers to my left, drawers to my right, but I don't know, I just love it. It's a solid desk. Sorry, you're wiggling, huh? It's a solid desk and I just love it, but the way the new craft room is, it may not, it may take up most of my room. And I had already grown out of the other place, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. Can you see where I'm doing here? You feel me? So we'd have one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four is all, which is eight, right? Let's do one more. And if I get these creased very well, um, I won't have a problem with bulk. Sorry, I had to finish my thought. So we're going to get snow. Yep. I had to vacuum the car. I went to the car wash early this morning and got it all vacuumed. I can't stand a dirty car. And it, it's, I don't mind if it's full of stuff, which mine is, because it's got a box in there of overflow stuff that we may need. 
and you know papers from here and there and all that kind of stuff I don't mind that but we went up um, target shooting several days ago and the road was that really fine silt that's what I call it I don't know and my gads my car oh it looks like we took it four-wheeling or something I can't stand it drives me crazy my husband laughs he said what are you gonna do today I said I'm gonna go clean the car he goes, that's what you're gonna do with your day yep that's what I'm gonna do with my day okay <laughs> He's riding motorcycles and I was crawling around my car. Because when it storms, we're gonna have wet feet and get in that car and we're gonna have mud and that's gonna be like, rawr. Okay. Now I should get one page if my math in my head is right. I should get one page right for every okay we'll see we'll just see we'll just see if I can cut him straight okay let's try ta-da together but I need to uncut them first <clears throat> uncut them undo them first because I won't be able to cut, cut them after I don't think so what did you guys think of the baby book turned out good. I like it. It's a little spunky. It's really simple and rustic and that work. Yep. Okay. Yep. And yep. Okay. Now do I want to glue them together? Do I want to glue the... I don't think I do. I like I like this big I was gonna glue those together but I don't think I will I think I'll just leave it okay so do I want to try I wanted to try doing um, I was watching the craft portal and I she did kind of a, uh, hmm, I don't remember what she called it, but um, she, uh, the pages were hooked together with uh, hinges that were set apart, you know, like, like, like this, kind of, not at all like that, but you get my drift, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I um, woke up in the night and thought of a way I might want to do that. Is this, what did I do here? Did I not? There we go. I was thinking of, okay, so you have these two, right? So I was thinking, couldn't I do like 
that. You see what I'm doing here? And then like this. Only like, like that. Take this one and go like You guys, no, no. Come here. Come on, guys. Come on. Those are our neighbors. Don't bark. You have to be nice neighbors. Okay, that's not going to work. It is going to work. It will work. I just have to figure out a better weather rhythm. Let's see. Would that be fun? Okay, so how would you do it so it was even? Oh, I see. Okay. So, I believe that this goes this way, that goes that way, this goes this way, and this has to go gonna work let's really let's really just look at this a minute you guys are gonna have to scream I can't hear you okay I'm gonna try this I'm gonna see if, if you're still filming hold on because I have my camera upside down now okay work right but this seems odd that I don't have an, the right amount on each side well I guess I do I have two I'm gonna glue it what the heck What's the worst that could happen? You won't see it if it does. I might show it. I show usually do show all my boo-boos. I don't care. We all make them. No big deal. I'm only gonna do just, you know, a little bit of the strip because I I might want to cut those off a little bit. Okay.
I uh, belong to a Weavers and Spinners Guild. And when I thought of this, and I, I know I'm not the only one that's ever done this. I'm sure of that. But when I thought of lacing them together like this, I thought, gosh, wouldn't those be cute books to donate to the guild for them to try to make a little ramp money during Christmas. We have a um, one of the um, training centers for people with disabilities. They have a festival of trees every year. And um, I try to donate when I can and um, our guild in the past has had a table there. And they sell beautiful stuff that some of the members have made. Hand spun yarns and weavings and stuff like that. That doesn't look right to me. It isn't right. Is it? No, it's not right. I think it's going to look as good though. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I did find a crafting center at my local Joann's. I didn't think they carried really very many crafts. There's like two aisles of Cricut stuff, vinyl and whatnot and Cricut machines and things. They carry a lot of scissors. But they do have an aisle that has um, some Tim Holtz people and some ephemera, some washi tape and stuff. So that'll be fun. I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing a lot of Amazoning. Trying not to shop as it is still. Okay, now I think I lost my groove. Okay, there's one, two. Yeah, I knew that was gonna to stick together, darn it. That is not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. this away. Right? Let's see. Two. Huh. Well, it's held together. All the pages are connected. Hmm. <laughs> 
uh, pretty rustic. Pretty darn rustic. Okay, let's see if I can unrustic this. Bring out the beautiful paper. Bring out the beautiful paper, folks. Okay, let's get it. thinking because it's small, I need a small print. That's pretty, but it's not very, oh, isn't that cute? Oh, by George, this makes me think of Gail Augustinelli. Okay, so let's do that one. And I'd say anything goes in this book. Oh, look at that. That might be even better. How many pages did I say I had? Not very many. Eight. Mm, beautiful. Gotta be a pretty cover. So will that. Oh, there's yellow. <clears throat> Do we want to do something besides flowers? Let's look at the polka dots. Ooh, that hurts my eyes. Okay, that doesn't throw me. Oh, that's cute. Still flowers, but kind of ambiguous flowers. Can't really distinguish. Okay, we'll do polka dots. Fine, fine. Oh no, it's all gonna be in my lap. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I didn't get my cutter. I gotta have my cutter. Hold on, guys. I can't cut a straight line. For the jiggle. Okay. I think this one's my favorite. Let's use it first. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's measure this. Just for giggles, I want to see. It is four by about two and a half. Some of these don't, they don't quite go to the edge because of the hinges, so it's, yeah. Four by two and a half, okay. Do all of those, okay. I know these edges are sloppy and everything. I'm gonna cover them with lace. I got a plan. I mean, really, when you're working with toilet paper rolls, anything goes, I would say, you know? Okay, we're gonna go two, or did I say two and a half? Two and a half, right? Oh, crap, I don't remember. Okay, we're gonna guess at two and a half. <laughs> By four. I can find a new blade for this at the Joann's here in town or something. Because I know that I've ruined the blade. Hmm. That's way off. No, it isn't. Okay. I believe that. I'm going to do another one. 
four. And this should be four, right? Yep. Okay. Got it. Now this one. This is so cute. It's happy. This is happy paper. Okay, two and a half is what we're going to say, even though we're not sure about it. inch paper I'm going to assume that I get three fours I'm not going to measure that last one okay two and a half and I've been going just a little bit over to give myself some room so I thought about making a bunch of these Getting back to my original story, or one of my original stories, for the guild to sell at their Christmas table, if we have one, even though I'm 50 miles away from my guild now, which is kind of a bummer. 50 miles isn't very long, but we have some pretty bad roads in the winter. We have serious winter. I'm kind of a chicken. So when there's stuff in the evenings, I probably won't go. Which is why... Oh, that doesn't look good at all. What happened there? Hmm. Which is why I am going to start doing some other kinds of fiber art. Oh, oh. <laughs> excuse me. Oh, I couldn't even say, hold on a second, sorry. I'm not sure what happened to this one. Never mind then, if that's the way you want to do it about it. What the heck? Okay. So I might be doing some stuff remotely. Was my point. Like needle felting animals and stuff like that. But no way can I handle that while I'm in the RV. I just, I'm, there's no way. For one thing, all my wool is packed. I did bring some felting needles, but it's, it's a big, it's a big hairy deal, so I, I don't think I'll do that. This new camera setup, I can't see myself. If you've watched my videos, you know I have this little mirror, this little thing. And I set it over here, pointed it up, and I can see myself. So I can always tell, I can't see me, but I can see what's in the lens of the camera. So I can always tell when I'm in frame or whatever. I can always tell if the camera is still, if my phone is still going. But 
but I couldn't get my phone angle right today, so I thought, okay, I'll just flip it over. I'm just taking the curve out of these. I hope that air conditioner blowing isn't too big of a distraction. Just think of it as meditative white noise. <laughs> After a while, I don't even hear it. We're going to get snow. They said maybe Saturday. So it won't stay. It'll be gone in a day or two. But Winter's here. I'm really hoping that we get a good weekend over Halloween so that I can move into my new house. Really, really hoping that they clean it before they by move in and that they shampoo all the carpets. Isn't that standard? I did when I moved out of our house. I shampooed all the carpets and scrubbed everything. It looked like brand new. Especially when you have animals. We, uh, before we, the house that we just were in, before we lived there, we lived on a farm, um, kind of like Noah's Ark farm, just a hobby farm, nothing really serious. I mean, compared to people who really farm. Um, I raised rare breed sheep and we had a few cows and we raised and bred Morgan horses. Well, we bred a Morgan horse. We started to breed and then the farm took over. We were shearing sheep and vetting horses and raising babies and doing 4-H. <laughs> calving and growing hay and stacking hay and yeah I got and I was working full-time and so was my husband outside of the farm so we ended up not breeding horses very much mostly training them and I use that term very loosely but I had good people around me to help me know what to do Okay, all right, so don't judge it. <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover. All right, so let's look at these. I do think these two floral patterns need to be apart from each other. So maybe I'll do something like that. Oh, forgot this one. What do you think? And then that, that, nope, oh jeez, that, 
that, <laughs> that, and then one more time. I don't have that much paper, I mean pages. <clears throat> I think those go well. Cute. Okay. Let's see. I think we're going to do a cover page, so I'm not going to do that one. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh. Let me put some tops back on my glass. I want, I'd like to do, um, even though this really isn't going to be like a full-fledged journal, I would like to do some of the things that you would do in a journal. Ah, for instance, I was going to stress it. Shoot, forgot. Let me get my vintage folder. I got a little greedy. Should have got two boxes, but I was bound into, oh, maybe I can use this. Well, by George, I will. Should have put that in two little baskets, but. Gosh, guys, I hope it's not shaking too bad. Perfect pocket journal size, right? So I would like it to actually be like a journal with a camera and pockets and a belly band and whatever. Maybe not everything, but I don't want it to apologize for itself because it's toilet paper. to trim that at some point. That won't be a problem. But I might have to trim it now because it's got glue on it and I don't want to get glue all over everything any more than I already have anyway. I gotta check the time. Okay, we've got about 15 minutes.
Let's see if I can get this paper in and then we will tighten it up in another video. Okay, so far I like this. Our COVID numbers are up here, so everybody's kind of cracking it. Well, not everybody, but there's a lot of people who are kind of going back to more restriction and less contact with people and that sort of thing. I've been having my phone. Ugh. We changed our plan to include more data so I could do videos easier because it was taking like five days to load a video. And so we changed the plan. And um, as soon as I did that, my phone just went crazy. It quit working, I couldn't get internet, I couldn't dial out. And I went in and they fixed it and I went home and it broke again. And I went in and they fixed it. And I left and it quit working again. So this morning, and they're doing it all out in the parking lot. And they take you in if they have to, but they greet you in the parking lot. Everybody's in a line. And they greet you and talk to you about the problem. And if they can fix it right there, they just do. But if not, then you go in. And they have plexiglass everywhere. They're wearing masks. They have sanitizer everywhere. And hence, what was wrong with my phone was the SIM card had sanitizer on it. So I hope that's it. I hope that's the last jaunt to the phone store. And they were just about to pull it and give me a phone on warranty because they couldn't fix it yesterday. And then she tried one more thing and it worked for a minute until I got home. Cute, huh? Don't judge it. Keep an open mind. This is when you have to be a visionary. <laughs> Don't judge the book for lack of cover. I don't have any wipes with me. Actually, I do. I should, oop, up.
if you've ever done a YouTube video, like if you have your own channel or something, you already know how easy it is to make mistakes while you're trying to talk on your video. It's hard to have a conversation and try something new that takes your brain. You know, your brain can only think of one thing at a time. And, um... After... Ow, that hurt my ears. After watching enough videos, I already... I know now that I'm not the only one. I love watching a YouTube video and all of a sudden they lose complete train of what they were doing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank heaven. I'm not the only one. <laughs> not the only one. It's not just me. Hmm, I am going to have enough pages. I'll get the pages in and then we'll do the embellishment in another video. How's that? It's pretty paper. Sweet, kind of old fashioned. Probably why I liked it. I like that. I should have got my tear ruler out and tore these. That would have been really cute. And the next one, that's what I'll do. My dogs. I have two standard schnauzers and I have a male and a female and both of them are fixed and but my female it just thinks she can take on anything. My son raises Rottweilers and my female schnauzer just had no problem taking her when we were babysitting one time and she just thought she was going to Take this Rottweiler down. That ended up costing money. But going, what, taking these guys for walks, of course everybody wants to know what they are and all of that. And, and everybody's friendly anyway. You know, and most people have dogs. Well, I wouldn't say most actually. A lot don't. And I can understand why. It really is freeing not to have an animal when you're traveling. There's a lot of concessions to be made when you're traveling with animals. But anyway, uh, took her for a walk before I made this jer this uh, video. <laughs> these gal these guys pulled up and the lady got out, and then her German Shepherd come out on a lead. Thank heaven. And Jaja, my dog, was like all over that. Boy, she was gonna tell this German Shepherd where to go. Oh, jeez, I thought, oh. We think you're all that, but I'm afraid that German Shepherd would have you for lunch. There must have been a dog show in our area because last week, oh, there were some beautiful dogs. A lot of hounds, so I don't know if it was a hound show. I'm not sure. 
lots of different hounds that I haven't seen up close. So that was fun. Okay, I'm going to trim that. I'm going to trim most of these pages, need some trimming done, and I'll do that. See if I can get all these pages in in like seven minutes. That's a really rough page. Looks like it's going to cover pretty well, though. That's good. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Coming along nicely. Coming along nicely. Okay. I have one, two, three, four. I don't think I can do them. All right. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call this a video, guys. I will go ahead and finish these. You kind of already know where I'm headed. I'll pick some. Um, no, I think I'll stick with the theme. So I'll do it in the same order. And we'll change it up with the ephemera and pockets and tucks and stuff so go in the bathroom unwind the toilet paper onto the floor like the cat does grab the roll and make one of these with me okay guys this has been fun crafting in the RV with you until I see you again let's take care of each other bye bye